Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our fight against the Hive. Where I'm trying to liberate the world from the Hive with only uh, ballistic weapons, no armor upgrades and of course plenty of enemies to ch uh, chuck through. It is Operation Witch Storm, the official first retaliation mission. And I'm torn on that, as we're likely going to see the first Chosen in here as well. We only have four of our squaddies to go about it. So we have Haywire, Drunk Planet, Sukuger and Lyrical, kind of carrying the torch for XCOM. We do not have um, a lot of supplies, so we can't really build anything at this point. And uh, really, I, I mean, we're not in a particularly good shape but uh, it is still early game so I think the ballistic weapons will uh, be able to uh, allow us to go through I'm thinking about whether or not I really want to do the combat knife I think we're going with the traditional sword instead means run and gun for lyrical on the assault infantry will be a little bit uh, longer but that's fine I gave our one vest that we have created to lyrical so she gets up to six hit points yay uh, that means she's not a one-shot at this point. And we even got our uh, med kit with us. So without further ado, let's deploy the Sky Ranger. We're in 5x5 five, uh, five five, and here we go. Very good. Landing. Let's jump out of the Sky Ranger. And we're starting without cover. I decided, by the way, to give Haywired. I decided to give uh, Haywired a sniper rifle as well. Uh, simply because I think we will need to just fight front to back. This, by the way, is the damn mission. I absolutely love it uh, from XCOM 1. Great to see it rebuilt for XCOM 2. But it is quite tough because it is just one way to go. So it will be a straight firefight. This map actually will make things a bit more difficult for us. So let's double check. We got eight protocol. Okay. You can see a protocol now ends the turn, but it uh, is AOE, which sort of uh, gives us a reason to stick a bit closer together, but on the other hand, uh, enemies can use grenades, so I'm not 100% sure. Got the brace ability for our sniper for much better pre uh, precision, and we got fire discipline, toggle through to choose the minimum chance to hit required for the soldier to take reaction shots. Okay, not 100% sure. Fire discipline. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, we're we want to in minimum have a sixty-six percent chance to hit with our with our Overwatches, and we got zone suppression. That's good. Um, the fact that we do have a concealment here might be helpful for us because I would want to use that as a scouting <coughs> mechanic. Wrong planet, although he's the sniper will push very very aggressively into into the field I want to take the high ground here as well that would be a great sniper location oh boy not good chrysalid rippers the first chrysalids have finally appeared good we got the sniper Which means we cannot as easily move. I would like to go over here. That does not trigger something. Full cover not triggering as well. And Lyrical will go here. The reason why I'm pushing so aggressively is we are actually under quite a time constraint. 
Who are we fighting against? The Hunter. Yes, that makes the whole run a little bit easier because the Hunter, at least in my perspective, is the easiest of all three chosen. Attacks uh, decrease will of soldiers with inside. Uh, Soul Stealer is nasty, but it's better than the, that the Hunter has it than anyone else. Hates Templars and is easily hittable from high ground. I think I can live with uh, uh, those. chosen and it's not gonna make things easy on us let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible oh yeah central thank you the cup kept obvious I would have not thought that we should attack it this is just too easy at least the cripple uh, the small cripplers are not uh, creating new chrysalids. Good, I think this here is going to trigger. Lyrical moves up. We could run and gun, but I want to save that for a rainy day. 60% is good enough. We're continuing to keep our concealment. Uh, let's hope none of these two is a faceless one. Good. We do not have run and old gun, uh, run gun with Hayward, so bit careful not to expose ourselves too much there we're slowing down for now I think if if uh, we just hold Hayward in a decent position with all the others together that might be okay I don't want to push in because that could trigger something else Instead, we're hunkering down. Yeah, we don't want zone, zone suppression. We just want an overwatch, really. We will see whether or not there is a hidden um, alien or even a faceless one. If there is a faceless one, the Chosen will have the ability to look us up. No, there is not. That tells me that... This guy here is not a faceless one. You know that immediately because the uh, Chosen would elsewise have line of sight on us. Now my problem with Wrong Planet is I would like to put him up here and just be a really, really good... Um, a really, really good uh, scout for us. A sniper for us, but equally he's also the scout, so hmm. It's a bit of a problem. We're continuing to use his concealment to our advantage. Get out of here. That guy is much more serious, so I don't want to deal with a chrysalid drone. Or want to be spotted out. Which means for now. I'll move back. Got it, moving. We're moving up. Attention, j'arrive. Overwatch, overwatch, and let's see if these chrysalids are going to join us up here. The fact that we got a tracking shot means this here might be a faceless one who has spotted us out. Here I come. Uh, 
pretty sure this is the faceless one. Um, one five, the chosen hunter is targeting your position from long range. You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. Yeah, we've already done that. Thanks. Uh, thanks for letting us know. Well, that didn't work according to plan. Uh, why exactly can we just aid for call ourselves, but not the colleagues down here? Don't tell me it's line of sight issue, because it isn't. We're going to brace and pistol overwatch. Good. End of turn. Great, the resistance operatives finally are waking up as well. Not bad. Not far enough. We don't have squad side from here, do we? Moving over here. Carefully advancing. There's a ripper back there, but we can't really see him yet. One of them has borrowed, which is a problem. Yeah, still can't, uh, so we've answered the question, sniper rifle in this mod does not automatically provide you with um, the overwatch ability, uh, the sport side ability. Eight hit points, that's a problem. 70% too low. So we're moving in. Blocking line of sight, comet protocol. Lining protocol. I think we'll just comet protocol this guy. Unfortunately, the whole protocols have no longer squad side as well, which they used to have. Again, overwatching. That reveals an entire new pack. Oh yeah, and now we're fighting against the hive. Looks like they called in backup. Good. These are the rogue uh, hive creatures. They fight for a different overlord. I see you. Oh boy. They got friends. 
Yep, now it's starting to get nasty. At least bugs fight against bugs now. It's a bug on bug interaction. Good, sustained fire. How about we're just keeping all of these guys down? Zone suppression. Uh, that'll be a three for one. I think we can't deny that that's the most efficient way of dealing with it. Kel Supri. They've got no idea what they're in for. Moving away from the hive, saving a couple of civilians as we go. Uh, go. Could a proposal but that isn't really sitting very well with me. As much as I like the high ground, we are a bit trapped here, so we need to reposition. It might take some, we might take some damage, maybe, maybe not. But I think we're going to go through it, and we'll be just fine. <clears throat> Yep, rippers are fighting against rippers. Yeah, there's the damage I was talking about. Edwin still has the overall situation under control. We do have one charge uh, from the med kit. Moving that. slightly back with wrong planet because we don't want to be hit by the pretty nasty shot. Reload and getting that thing down. Good, Hayward moves up. Pretty much fighting in the open at this point, but. Not a surprise, because we're fighting against chrysalids. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Reactor shot. Not even triggering Overwatch. Wow. Good, so that's our one med kit that we had. Let's teach the hype drone how to miss a 90% shot. That was actually quite impressive. I know what we're going to do. Moves up. Point blank shotgun. There we go. Don't want to push too far forward. Um... 
I think this is a decent position. Racing. And we're moving up. Okay, cool. What should we try this time? I can see further than you think. The resistance operatives just completely ignore that there is a chosen. Cool, at least we won the mission. Alright, Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. One more of these little critters. There we go. I think it's a decent time for a reload, right? Yeah, you want, before you go into big fights, specifically on non-timed missions, I cannot stress how important reloading is. Okay, we're doing fine. How about a sweet, sweet reposition? This is good. And we might want to take the high ground with our actual sniper. Wrong planet. Well, there we go. <clears throat> Hunter showed himself for the first time. Well, it's not ending so quickly. Well, so far, he's quite relentless in smack talking, but that's all he's doing. Acknowledged. Multiple civilian contacts have been secured. Can we blind him? I think he's immune to blind. Moves up. And that's the good old car explosion on top of hitting him. Card sort of uh, starts to explode. Four to six. Uh, I tell you what. Seems doable. The safer way of doing this is actually uh, totally blowing up the car. This is three points of damage plus six from the blowing up car. There you go. That's how it's done. Now, a big fat crit would be nice. As if I was telling the game what to do. And how about Comet Protocol? Yep. Yeah. Well, so much for his smack talk, right? Sure to give it my all next time. We 
showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay, Commander. Yeah, we showed now him who's we boss. To find that thing and put it down for good. Menace one five, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Very nice. Great job, Commander. We sent the chosen back to their mass. Very nice. So that mission went as well as a retaliation mission could go. I totally like the dam map. That is a a great uh, setback to XCOM 1, where it, I think had been in one of the DLCs, the one that in included um, Enemy Within. Yes, it's been a while, <clears throat> and it was uh, the last map on uh, the Prodigy Child something something questline. Anyways, let's see what we've gotten. So couple of in initial thoughts as great as uh, the rifle is without squad sight it is a problem because we can't move and shoot so we'll go back to the bullpup we will get uh, more protocol charges soon ish uh, adaptive plating uh, gains plus one point of regenerating standard armor Hmm. That's actually quite good. Partial cover gives as much defense as full cover. That low profile is really good. Gain plus one uh, free battle scanner and plus one bonus charge on equipped battle scanners. Hmm. All three are actually quite uh, quite good. Given that we do have a very very limited amount of slots. I am torn between the standard armor because that will increase survivability for us and the battle scanner because I fundamentally believe the battle scanner is actually a really really good item. Uh, if you know how to use it, it will also counter borrowed chrysalids. So let me think that through. And it would counter cha chameleons. I would just count a lot. So, what is this here? Yeah, it's just the explanation. Regenerating standard armor can restore one point per armor per turn and will only begin regenerating when other sources of armor have been removed. Regenerating standard armor will not restore its shredded armor points from other sources. This is a really good ability. It's essentially one hit point regeneration as well. Um, am I going to be greedy in typical Psychon fashion and just say we're going to somehow make it through? Or um, am I taking the smart decision for battle scanners? That one battle scan, free battle scanner charge without even equipping an item is great. I'll go with the plating for now because if we die, the battle scanners will not be helpful. But seeing the costs down here, it suggests that we might be able to invest extra points. Good. Wrong planet, our sniper has lead the target. Takes extra time to carefully lead the target. 20% increased chance, but uh, delaying the shot until the enemy's turn. Only takes one action, but must be braced and cannot uh, critical hit. Two turn cooldown. Hmm. Hmm. Lighter, more maneuverable optics allow the marksman to use, uh, utilize the sniper and hold a target at squad side ranges without first setting up a brace. Uh, yep, that is potentially it. Takes a subsonic shot that will disorient the damage, uh, the target. 50% damage. Will not break individual concealment. Hmm. It's not a bad shot. I appreciate blindsight. The disorientation specifically against um, against some of the harder foes might be interesting, but lightweight optics seem as if they are absolutely required because I don't want to brace 
before using squat side I want to use it always yeah it's okay good Zukuger what do we have covering fire pretty damn good I like it ignores 50% of targets uh, defense from cover love it Takes a special shot to an enemy, intended to root them out from their position. 30% chance to hit, forces the target to move from position. Eh, I was never the biggest fan of flush them out. Increases the cone with uh, su uh, suppression fire by plus two tiles. This bonus is increased by an additional plus one tile for cannons and machine guns. Okay, okay, okay. So that would effectively mean he has like a massive cone at some point. I will skill into this. I think the cone at the moment is already good enough. I would rather go for covering fire. I value it, uh, or I learned to value it actually relatively well. Think about uh, when, for instance, uh, the chrysalid came uh, out of the ground. That would trigger covering fire. Shots would trigger it. Um, spells uh, and psi abilities essentially everything and that is quite helpful finally assault infantry prep for entry after activating this ability the next grenade thrown or launch in this turn will not cost an uh, action but throw range will be reduced that's pretty good free actions are always pretty damn good question is do we want to have grenades on her yes or no we have only one slot the assaults um, Q, uh, uh, CQB dominance radius increases by one tile and all enemies will suffer a penalty to aim and mobility I think the, this is the way to go because um, if we look at the uh, Q, CQB uh, um, radius it would then be seven tiles in that seven tiles uh, she would already have 15 to dodge and more importantly 15 percent to defense which is great it's just massive and with that they would on top get an aim and mobility penalty uh 15 chance to hit uh, and crit on all melee attacks i like that this seems to be kind of the melee ish route but i want to set her up differently i want essentially her plus someone else to take the front line and when all of the bugs are coming in she will try to be the tank by simply not getting hit so zone of control it is we will need to find a way of very regularly uh, dealing with swarms of enemies and the only way of doing that in, in my perspective is to uh, to actually make them miss we have the first bond between wrong planet and lyrical a little bit of a romance uh, wrong planet uh, seems to enjoy the horror clown makeup that Lyrikill is rocking each to their own good and we got 50 supplies which is really really good so our income skyrocketed um, the campaign is a bit more back on track we don't need to see that we knew it already and there is maybe ammunition Commander. The resistance is helping to track the chosen we just met in combat. It sounds like that thing is already staking out territory nearby. That's just where you think you're going. Cool. Let's get the supplies and then next up we're getting the ammunition. Finally, we can now use uh, PCSs and it allows us to uh, to also take the proving ground as a construction. Commander, if we're going to try to build this skull jack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. I will begin our research immediately. 
Priority message coming through, Commander. Very good. We've got a good first turn. Um, let's see. He's potentially sabotaging now. Or uh, cracking down uh, the income. Yeah, it's always the same. Um, permanent dark event, lightning reflexes would not be good. That's not good either, but I would rather get the lightning reflexes um, off. So, soldiers bond to grow faster or we get vengeance. I think we're just taking the bonds. Vengeance is so and so. It's okay. But I don't want them to die uh, to begin with. We could get a faction hero here. I think that's a good one. Or a faction hero there, which isn't a bad one either. Commander, we'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these Or we're getting an engineer. Which I think is even more important now. This operation is going to require some field experience, Commander. We'll need to send one of our vets to lead the Hawkbite gets a mobility boost. Just double checking. Aim is also not too bad. Do we want a Reaper? Reaper is good. Engineer is good as well. Hmm. If we put our Marine onto this so that his aim actually improves, Zukuger could benefit from it. And we're letting him run together with Dark Taranaxus. Seems about right. The resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advance Reach. That means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this. Good, we can't ourselves. build anything yet, uh, but we can already continue the excavation. No time to lo uh, lose. Strategic resource located. Now we can build something, and I mentioned we're going into resistance ring second. I would like to get some ammunition, and we do have uh, Intel 150, that's enough to make uh, contact. So the idea actually would be get the resistance communication going and make contact. Yep, but before we're done with that, of course, we are going to see a mission. Unfortunately, the dark event that I valued lower has been chosen. We get a lot of supplies. That's not bad. It's okay. I would have rather liked to get an engineer. We're currently in that situation where a second engineer definitely would be helpful. Uh, but with the resistance ring, I think what we... Uh, mm, what we can do from next month onward is get an engineer going for us. Setting course for the Arctic territories. So, whilst we're going over here, got 50 supplies. Uh, let's see, can we build anything that's meaningful? Flashbang could be an option for 50. Can't build an armor yet. Well, we could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had. Or we're just saving it, which I think we should. Uh, in six days, we have cleared the alien debris here. That will give us enough to then build a. Oh, we could maybe squeeze in another building. If we squeeze in another building, I would actually think about the infirmary. Uh, next instead of uh, proving grounds but we could also go proving ground and then infirmary afterwards our biggest problem at the moment is we're just having a lot of wounded soldiers uh, we do have four four soldiers generally ready so the next mission should be okay but as you can already see our roster a needs substantial expansion and uh, secondly we might need some way of 
getting the wounds uh, gone uh, out of the systems faster. Namri, for instance, a very good uh, sapper um, in the first mission was uh, injured and uh, we had like 30 days downtime. She's still not back in action. So yeah, we're going to figure that out. Anyways, if uh, you want to speed up uh, the uh, healing process of the soldiers, you gotta send them greeting cards and good wishes. The way you do that is in the comment section and most certainly in the like button. I promise you they will uh, start to recover faster. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon. Bye bye.